if you're just tuning in with us now, we are on the manifest success journey. We are maximizing our health, our wealth, and our happiness. Our health is our mental and physical health. So meditating every day, eating healthy. We're currently intermittent fasting. It's 10:20. We haven't eaten yet. We usually fast around 1 p.m. when we can. We eat healthy and we exercise daily. And our wealth, our active income, and our passive income. If you tuned in with us previously, we've decided to go full throttle on real estate. We're gonna develop a real estate empire from scratch. So the best way to do that is to find a mentor. Find someone who's already achieved what we want. So, found Kurt. He said he's willing to meet with us and potentially mentor us. And, you know, if he mentors us and is a partner for us, potentially he might even be a client of ours too if he wants social media help. So try to maximize every relationship and create win-win scenarios. And happiness is your love interest and friends and family. We've decided every day we're gonna call a different person and tell them how much we love them. No expectations from the call. And if you are interested in manifesting love for yourself and you're not currently in a relationship check out this previous video we had with max max and the relationship coach extraordinaire will help guide you on your path once again if you'd like to manifest success for yourself reach out to us go to foreverlucid.com you can there you can learn how to lucid dream for very cheaply only two dollars or if you want something more in depth one-on-one -on -one with us press the contact button and either text us or email us. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right, so now, uh, if you've been keeping up with our journey, we've been using DoorDash to make a little bit of funds since we started off with zero dollars. So now we have to get some gas so we can get to Kurt <laughs> and not run out of gas. So good thing we backlogged a bunch of DoorDash so we can afford some gas right now. So now we are on our way to the cheapest gas station we can find. Uh, did you know Arnold Schwarzenegger made a great deal of his wealth through real estate? He believed that he should not buy his own place until he first secured real estate that has cash flowing properties. So what he did was he found a multifamily unit where he could live in one of the units and rent out the others. That way he didn't have any mortgage payments. So be like Arnold Schwarzenegger, the dominator. The tank we only have, you know, 79 miles it says. So uh, we wanna make sure we have more than enough so we're gonna fill it up to the max and then we're gonna have this meeting with Kurt, hopefully it goes well. Maybe he gives us some money, we'll see how it goes. Uh, at the very least, we'll have a good connection in real estate and then probably uh, find more money making opportunities or do whatever he tells us. Remember, do whatever your mentor tells us. Otherwise, what's the point of having a mentor? Cheapest right now, that's all we can do. And uh, now we have to go meet Kurt, we dress nice, and I should probably put in the address. That would be a good idea. And he mentioned to me on our call that he might want our services too for filming. So we thought might as well bring all our rigs just in case and see what he's looking for. And we might even set him up with a full-time videographer editor if that's what he wants to pursue further. We're about 12 minutes away. We're going to be nice and early. We said 11. We're going to get there at 10.39. I had to get my uh, videographer in gear so he's always a little bit late so I told him way earlier than normal. So now we're going to meet him and there's this old saying, if you're early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late. If you're late, better not show up at all. Be nice and early. <laughs> there's a lot of avenues when you get into people who already make good money that you can leverage um, if you create win-win situations, right? We could help him with his social media. That could help him make more money. We could partner on deals that would make him more money. You know, it's it's those are the win-win situations you always want to set up. So we're heading over to his office. In the meantime, we'll make some more content as we have another nine minutes. Our most popular videos were Elvis, so let's make another Elvis fun fact. So fun fact about Elvis, he promised his mom he would take care of her. So that's why he bought Graceland so young. Unfortunately, his mom was addicted to alcohol and she died only a year after being at Graceland. But she got to experience for a full year her son's success. So at least that's something. Hopefully we make our parents see our success for many more years to come. Tom Holland also uh, manifested him dating Zendaya. See the clip here. So you can manifest any situation you want, any experience you want, as long as both parties are happy and involved. So manifest your true desires. All you have to do is align your thoughts, your beliefs, and your actions to get everything you want in life. Not in a big city, you know, use the internet. Find other people you can network with. Luckily, we're in Memphis, so th that's a big real estate hub. Uh, but if you're in like a you know very small city, go on the internet, uh, go to Facebook group or Meetup. You can find people online to connect with, and then you can always do deals virtually. So there, 
There should be no excuses to achieving your goal. You take action daily. You have a ideal vision you want to achieve. For us, that's become a trillionaire. And then you take steps every day that align with that path. So we gotta get some passive income flowing in. We gotta drastically increase our active income, drastically increase our active income, and we have to have fun with it. Otherwise, what's the point of living if you're not enjoying yourself? That's why we're gamifying this experience and we're filming every day. We wanna make this like a video game that you can enjoy. And when we look up back on in a few years when we're a trillionaire, we'll be like, oh, remember when we did that? That's a lot of fun. The thing that would keep you from achieving your goals is failure to take action. You saw this too in our previous videos. All right, so here. we're still right. running into the same problem. We're just trying to do too many things and not taking action on anything. So the, we just gotta take small amounts of action every day. So you make a checklist of things you should do and just spend 10 minutes to 30 minutes just doing it every day. And that will help you out a lot. Uh, Cause we might go another day without hitting our challenge goal, but that's okay. You know, as long as we stay focused on the plan and we keep taking action every day, we'll get further and further along and then we'll hit the goal. And you can do the same thing with all your goals, you'll hit them too. We got into research paralysis. We got caught up in too much research. So now we're taking massive action. We're meeting with a mentor who's already succeeded in what we're trying to do. So now we're gonna go out and do that. So remember, take massive action on whatever you wanna achieve in life. Do something every day, even if it's just 10 minutes, it will help get you towards your goal and you're gonna have a much better experience, I guarantee it. So I haven't done a sales call in a few years, full disclosure. This isn't technically a sales call, it's more like a mentorship meeting, but you gotta get in the right mindset. So you gotta feel really energized, maybe meditate. We, we started doing this phrase that had been helping us out for manifesting small wins on DoorDash. I'm healthy, I'm wealthy, I'm happy. I'm healthy, I'm wealthy, I'm happy. And keep repeating it until you really feel it. You might be lying to yourself at first if you don't feel any of those things. Keep repeating to it because your subconscious will accept it as truth if you hold the feeling of already having what you want. And it's best to close your eyes, but I'm driving. I don't want to kill us. It's 329 gas here. And if you remember from a uh, previous clip, it was only 2.5 where we got it. So, you know, look for the best deal that 50 cents, 70 cents per gallon really adds up. And uh, once we figure out electric propulsion, gas stations will be a thing of the past. Just like Amazon got rid of Barnes and Noble and Borders. Electric propulsion will get rid of gas station. All about the power relationship. My videographer was just telling me he gets good gas deals by flirting with uh, the cashier and being nice to him or her. The power of just being kindly, you know? I'm surprised how easy it is to get anything you want in life. I'm surprised if you just call and ask how willing people are wanting to help you. Because if they're already very successful and they have a lot more time in their hands, they're willing to give back because I guarantee you when they first got started, someone helped them. Meeting new people is have a positive mental attitude, have a confident body language, and be very respectful. Try to provide as much value as you can. Even if you don't think you have any value to give, you know, it can be as simple as giving compliments, listening, actively listening, being kind. But those little things that really add up, and there's things called repeating body language. So however they're sitting, you can uh, mimic that, and it makes them more trusting in you and more relaxed. You see the same things when people are trying to communicate with dangerous animals, they try to replicate their stance. It's the same thing with humans, because we're just animals. But let's, let's go ahead and end. We're a little early, so let's stay early. Hey everybody, this is Kurt Davis. And I've been a full-time real estate investor for the better part of 15 some years now. I got into real estate investing because a friend of mine actually moved to Memphis, Tennessee and was a full-time real estate investor. I used to be uh, working in hotels primarily for about 11 years, professional chef working in hotels before I moved to Memphis, ever since I graduated high school. And I was given an opportunity. My friend who was here in Memphis as a real estate investor, I stayed in touch with him and he offered me an opportunity to come see what was going on. On, and essentially he offered me a job to come work for him I wasn't actually coming here to be a real estate investor I was actually just coming to work and be a part of his, his team but um, it was it was very scary to stop doing something that I did not enjoy even though I didn't enjoy it it was still comfortable but it helped but because of that I was able to get an opportunity move to Memphis eventually learn real estate investing and crazy enough the rest is uh, history it's probably the best decision I ever made for my life but it was also one of the scariest 
Let, let's circle back. So the main thing, the thing that will make us the most money is the real estate, of course. Mm -hmm. To document that process, that's highly important because the bigger our audience, the more money we can end up making in the future. Mm -hmm. So I think if we do this, we do a 50-50 partnership on any real estate, whether that's wholesaling, the multifamily burrs, maybe we'll do single family burr to, um, to document mm -hmm. that process. And while we're doing all that, we'll have a separate uh, editing team just for you to cut all your videos for your YouTube. I'd mm -hmm. say, let's just start you off on entry level and we'll, we'll do it since we're filming anyways, mm -hmm. we can cut the entry level cost in half and then uh, you'll make it back from the first wholesale deal. I'll just take a lesser percentage on that. We just have to pay our editors. That's sure. all wrong. How does that sound to you? It's not sounding bad. Okay, cool. So yeah, w what we'll do is we'll do 1500 that will allow two uh, long form videos a week. Those are videos that are like five, 10 minutes plus. And then we'll create several shorts, those 10 to 60 second clips that will get new viewers. So we'll do two of those per week to start you off. And while we're documenting the whole, whole process, we'll do a wholesale deal. Uh, you'll get your money back first, the 1500, and then we'll split the profit 50-50. That way you have pretty much no money out of pocket after that cost. And then uh, once we establish that, while we're filming that process, we find a big multifamily burr deal, do that, document the whole process. If we make a ton of money, we do a few more deals like that, scale up to 100K a month. Yeah? It's possible. All right, we got a deal? We got a deal. All right, excellent. Okay, um, so uh, we're go we gotta get a ton of more footage. Um, do you have a beautiful house we can film at? or a beautiful location that's currently under um, wraps that, hmm. you know, you don't, uh, we can hide the address, but we just yeah. want like a beautiful setting and beautiful backdrop. You know, like maybe a mansion where an agent is like showing it where we can reference that. So something like that. No. Okay. You want to you want to get the ethos of you're very success uh, very successful already, sure. and you want to show it. It's like it's why ads have Lamborghinis, right? It yeah. gets people invested. Whoa! How does he have this? Uh, do, do you have some? Do you have like a pool at your house, something like that? I mean, at my house, I do. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so we, we could do a pool scene, and that mm. that could be the intro. Uh, sure. To the journey. Okay. Um, it's in Germantown, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so uh, we should probably get that set up. So we work, uh, we personally work every day except Saturday. Sure. Um, I, I know you like to take weekends off. So we, we could get the process started on Monday. Sure. Uh, if you're willing to do uh, uh, cover the editing for you today, we can start uh, putting the clips together just for a YouTube channel. You can either give us login access for a YouTube channel to do it for you. We have a social media uploader who also does thumbnails. Or if you want to do that personally, what we'll do is once a week, we'll meet up and give you a hard drive. Uh, what works better for you? I mean, login access is probably fine. Okay, cool. So um, you'll just need to text us that. Yep. And then the login password. You you said you had two channels though, right? Do, do you want to push it towards one? <sighs> so we've got it. Like I said, we've got a, a channel. It's called Real Estate Wealth Coaching. Yeah. So I would just suggest if you have time, go check that out and see. Yeah, that's the one with several K subscribers. And then you have one yeah. personally, Kurt Davis, right? Or uh, it was 901 Invest. What, what was yeah. that one? Yeah, I don't even know. I don't even know if I created one for that or not. Okay, okay. let's just do real estate investing. Let's keep it sure. simple. One channel just to start off with. And we'll do two long forms per week. And let's say we could probably pull five to 10 shorts per week. That's a good starting basis. You want you want like one or two per day for shorts. Um. Okay. All right, um, so so that should get us started. What we'll do is uh, we'll pull all this content together. Give, that will probably be enough for your first long form. And then Monday we'll start um, on the wholesale and multifamily bird deal. Sound good? It does. Okay, uh, we would just need uh, the uh, partial payment for the editor fee. Are you able to send it to me so that I can? Yeah, yeah we uh... Tell me the number. And uh, the deal we're doing is 50% off the first month for the entry level. So it's just gonna be one payment of 1500 and that will cover all your videos for the first month. And then um, in, in our wholesale deal, I'll knock off 1500 and then we'll split the rest of the profit. Pretty good. Yeah, what, what we're finding too with uh, these longer forms, we also make shorts, which I really highly recommend, 
is uh, the shorts are just anywhere from 10 to 60 second clips of just super engaging pop titles and talking about something really important like famous people. Like for real estate, you can talk about Robert Kiyosaki, you can talk about Grant Cardone. The, the biggest names are what build your audience because they're, they're tuning in for them. And then they see your face, they get recognized with your face, and then you become one of those people too. Is that those short clips, kind of like you mentioned, you could use those for TikTok and you could also use yes. those. It's like you can use the same video for like YouTube shorts and we, we we specialize in five platforms. YouTube primarily, mm -hmm. then you have secondary TikTok, and then all your tertiary is Facebook, you have LinkedIn, which is really important. A lot of people aren't leveraging. And then Instagram, of course. Uh, LinkedIn is great because that's where all the professionals are. So if, if you're looking for investors, you want to get big on LinkedIn. See, and that's the thing. I think it depends on what you're doing, like like what you're looking for and what I'm looking for. Yeah, I guess yeah. it would depend on the platform. Okay, how much do you make per month on um, oh. the turnkey? You can just give an average, you don't have to do exact. <sighs> I mean, I can tell you that it's probably conservatively like uh, 10 to 15 a month. 10 to 15, but, and that's a uh, positive cash flow. Yeah, Okay. but it, it's hard to really gauge it that way just because it's like, I, I may go, sometimes I may go a month or two with no income. Oh, probably. so it's not like you make it every time uh, uh, for recurring. So like, let's say, let's say an investor comes, hey, I want this property. You don't make $10 every month from that property forever. Mm -mm. Okay, so maybe you want to include a recurring model that's still beneficial to your investors. Uh, and your personal, and you said your course isn't making much. What do you average per month on your course? Maybe like 1K? Probably. 1K. And then your personal, what are you averaging? A couple grand. A couple grand. And that's partially because I have like struck. Like five, you think? Yeah. Okay. I, I would say uh, your most profitable one is your turnkey. So we should make all the videos about that, mm -hmm. about getting more investors. And then the more you do that, then you can go into those lower income people who want the course and coaching to be like you. Mm -hmm. And then you you teach that while you're doing the turnkey investments. So like, you know, depending on how much time you want to dedicate, or we can talk about doing a group thing, because mm -hmm. our, our whole point of this is we're making daily vlogs. Sure. We want to create a real estate empire from scratch, starting with no money. So our first step is find a mentor who's already successful. Boom. Wow, wow. Um, and then we obviously want to create win-win situations. Mm -hmm. We have a team of videographers, editors. If you want someone full-time for that as mm -hmm. well, we can do that. But for you personally, so your turnkey investments, are these all single family? Are you doing apartment complexes? You know, all, my, all my stuff is single family okay. and I'm not opposed to like multifamily and apartments and stuff. It's yeah. just most of the people that I've traditionally worked with are really most of the people are new. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, so they just want to get their feet wet. Or they're investors who have less than seven properties. Okay. So most of them are still kind of in that single family phase. And these are all bird deals, yeah? So the ones I do are. But you, the ones you do personally, but not for the, so it's pure turnkey. Yes. Okay. So maybe there's something there for that. Cause uh, what do you make on average per bird deal? I mean, personally or alone with ones that see Like if you did it yourself, yeah. like uh, you saw a single family bird deal, do you make like 300 a month and then a few grand from uh, the cash out refinance? How does that normally work? I will tell you that the deals are so tight these days that on the last ones that I have done as Burr for myself, mm -hmm. there is no profit. Like I'm not getting any cash from the cash out refi. Mm -hmm. it's so, it's, so it's just a monthly, like just two monthly or cash out. Yeah, it, it, so it's it, part of the strategy is to just be able to take houses down that actually work for that criteria. And yeah. They've been harder over the last five, six, seven years. Uh, they're even harder now.